We can also use the switch case statement in Angular HTML template. Let's learn how it works. Here I am using the same example and over here we are having this HTML page and this component.ts file. This application is running in the browser and here we have the output from the app.component.html. Now let's say I want to implement the switch case statement over here on this app.component.html. Let's say I want to perform the logic over here at the top side of this particular page. Let's say I have a parent div and in this parent div I have four child divs and here let's say I'm writing some message. Here I have created a parent div and in this parent div I have multiple child div and in this div I am having an p tag and this p tag has a message. So here I am having m first, second, third and this one is the default. Let's say what is the output on the browser for this particular HTML. And here is the output of the code that we have written in the HTML page. Now I want to render these messages by using a condition. Let's say here in the component file I am having a new property and let's give it any meaningful name let's say i'm writing my value and its value is one save the changes now if the value is one then i want to display this first message if the value is two then i want to display the second message if it is three then the third message if none of them then i want to display this default message so first approach is that i can handle all these situations by using the ng if else all those things and the second approach is use ng case. So to use the ng case over here, now I have to write the ng switch statement over here in the parent div, and I can do that by using this ng switch directive. Then put an equal symbol, and in the double quotes I have to write the expression. The expression in this scenario is this my value. So I can copy it from here, go back to the HTML file, and simply paste it. Now we have created the switch, and it is time to create multiple cases based on the values of this particular expression we have to write our cases so let's say here i'm writing star ng switch case is equals to and if its value is one then this should work save the changes similarly we have to write this logic in all of the tail if it is two then i want to display the second message if it is three then i want to display the third message if none of them is true, then I want to display the default value and the default message can be used by using the ng switch default. Let's save all the changes and go back to the browser. This time you can notice that we are having only first message, I am first. Let's put the browser and the editor side by side. Okay, so here let's go to the component file and let's update this value. This time I'm making it to save the changes. And you can notice I'm having the second message on the browser. Let's make it three, save the changes. And here we have the third message. Let's make it four, save the changes. And this time this four does not match with any of these cases, one, two, three. The value four is different from all these cases. It means in this scenario, this default section will work and we will have this particular message on the browser. So this is how you can use the ng switch statement on your Angular HTML template.